Yo YouTube, this is your girl Michelle coming to you live of a vintage uh, warship. It's a one, um, I think it was like a one, 148 scale uh, warship uh, for, tw for about 30 bucks on Amazon, can't go wrong. Uh, last stuff I left on my video, uh, before I go any further, I want you to just do my workshop pet Honey, who is really like hindering my workstation. Um, as you can tell, as you, you know, as some of you remember where I left off, you know, from the last video, uh, from part two, now, you know, in video part number three of the Vintage Warship, as you can tell, I did the characteristic markings of the Naval Fleet, you know, based 42 to 45 a uh, year. Um, as you can tell, I added some stuff from the recent video, the turrets, to the torpedo tubes, or depth, tar uh, depth, tar uh, yeah, depth chargers. And um, as you can tell, I just started mounting up the lifeboats. Uh, I'm going to do some touch-up painting here and there. Uh, pretty much as you can tell, I did some detail work to the um, to the bit of the bow ship. I'm still working on the landing pad, as you can see where the white is, which is right there where my thumb is. I still have to finish that off. Um, all in all, not bad for a kit off the Amazon for 30 bucks. Um, motorized, but this one's going to be built more for display. Uh, at some point, if I decide to run it in the water, I probably will. Uh, but for now, it's going to be built as what it is. And over here, I actually last night took the time and liberty to do a, a darker gray for the uh, tie downs and for the little loopholes. You can do whatever. And of course, paint the anchors black. Because uh, some of the ships back in like the 1940s, uh, even during the 1940s, uh, they used to have an, either the colors for the anchors were black or they were gray. Um, this one's going to be black only because pre. this is going to be before uh, the Second World War, um, as you can tell. Uh, of course, you know what's really nice about this kit is you got the little helicopter right here. And you got the little rotary blades are just like right there. And... You know, it'll be all built up to what it is as a warship. I mean, I'm just about near completion. Just got little tiny parts here and there, as you, as you could tell from there. Um, and I just got to start touching up on some of the areas here uh, with the, the lifeboats or just some cleaning up right there I have to do. Uh, <coughs> um, they have to mount the little turrets on the deck. Which will pretty much clean, um, be done. I think they're going to be the same color. I know the uh, the warship, the lifeboats on the warship are a bit black, but they're not. They're actually like a gray. Usually on warships, they used to have about three to four different shades of gray uh, for military purposes. Sometimes maybe three. And as you can tell, on most warships, some of them actually had a black bottom. Uh, like some of the USS uh, Fletcher series, but this is not a Fletcher series. This would considered to be a what they call a tin can, um, which were the, if I remember right, they were the carrier ships. Um, the carrier ships versus the destroyers were two different things. Um, they were actually were considered warships, but they weren't as they didn't have a heavy um bigger turret set up uh the carriers had a smaller smaller turrets um more like they were anti i'm trying to remember this now because i think these were anti um aircraft aa guns and this is what made them different uh destroyers themselves had the bigger turrets which you know were made to sink battleships, uh, therefore, you know, Bismarck or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to keep you further updated on the on the on the construction of the warship, uh, so you so you'll know exactly what else is happening. Sorry if I've been like I've been doing a lot of YouTube videos of gaming and you know my last video rant uh, about 
anthem. <coughs> um, I pretty much got down to the point. I'm going here and there to build up these model kits between gaming and working on uh, building up future projects. So hopefully there'll be more of a live video stream. Uh, I want to try to do more into the model building as I possibly can, but I've been pretty lazy and been kind of gaming more often. Uh, as you can tell in the background, there's a couple of uh, model kits. Uh, anyways, this is your girl Michelle. I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness. Um, so subscribe to my video as much as you can. I'll put a link. <coughs> and don't forget to click the, the notifications. Uh, and I'll keep you further up to date to exactly how much more I have left on my uh, motorized warship. And what's really nice, before I go... Uh, the one thing I will show is the construct your own battleship so you could pretty much make your own um, You can actually kit bash if I remember right you can make a you could add different turrets if you want to do a different warship or whatever the case may be but uh, this one's gonna be built up as a carrier uh, pretty much have everything done uh, as you can tell in my last video the the second video I did the motor prop uh, pretty much all does work um, but I probably will, uh, more likely going to run it, um, probably some, you know, something in a, in a tub or maybe something to show you that it still works, uh, provided by, uh, it's going to be interesting the two hands, but, um, so you stay tuned and, uh, I'll show you exactly how it works, hopefully I have enough room to do it, but, um, till then, this is your girl Michelle, going to say peace, love, and happiness, and, uh, Subscribe.